Today is the first ever National Fentanyl Awareness Day. It's an effort by the DEA to spread the word about the synthetic opioid that now accounts for nearly two-thirds of all overdose deaths in the U.S. Kate Snow tonight on the simple tool advocates say can prevent those deaths, and they're giving it away for free. On a recent Friday in L.A., students from USC were handing out free kits used to test drugs for the presence of deadly fentanyl. Their harm reduction group is called TACO, Team Awareness Combating Overdose. Madeline Hilliard founded TACO in 2020, following a year when a dozen USC students died of an overdose. She and co-founder Jack Elliott were neuroscience majors and saw a need to educate. Our goal is to remove any and all barriers so that you have absolutely no reason not to be testing your drugs. They've handed out 10,000 free test strips at campuses across California and now shipped to schools around the country. Students can also use an app to have strips delivered within 10 minutes for one cent plus delivery. Fentanyl is a big deal because you can take it accidentally. There could be a couple grains of sand size amount of fentanyl in your drug and that can kill you. Of the nearly 100,000 overdose deaths between June 2020 and June 2021, 64 percent were fentanyl related. For people 15 to 24 years old, 78 percent of deaths involved fentanyl. You want to grab the tip of the strip. We went to NJ Labs to better understand how the test strips work. In the real world, someone testing a pill or powder would dissolve a tiny portion in water. Similar to a home pregnancy or COVID test, we watch for lines. There's only one line. That one line means there's fentanyl. There's fentanyl in that product, in that solution. That means throw the drug away. Do you think these tests are fairly accurate? They're fairly accurate and sensitive enough to test very trace low levels of fentanyl. Some states consider the test strips drug paraphernalia and make distributing them illegal. Critics worry they encourage people to use drugs. They were going to use drugs whether we gave them the test strips or not. The difference is now with the test strips, if they find fentanyl in it, that means that they are going to wake up tomorrow. If I'm going to use drugs, I'm going to go see. This 21-year-old college student requested anonymity to speak openly at a party she and her best friend room to test a bag of cocaine some were planning to use. When the strip showed positive, they sat in stunned silence. If you hadn't known some of your friends were, were about to do it, what do you think might have happened? One of them could have at least died, if not all of them. So it was super jarring to think that like they could have died and these are people that I like spend every day with it would have changed like everything about how I live right now and I imagine going forward. Taco's goal is to create positive peer pressure if you're going to use a drug test it first. Give them to friends, family, whoever. Hoping that small step saves lives. Kate Snow, NBC News, New Brunswick, New Jersey.